Hello and welcome to a quick overview of the molecule calculator. Uh, we start here in the molecule editor window where I can uh, build my molecules. So for example here I can add another uh, carbon here. I can add a nitrogen here. I can change the charge of this atom so that it's now an NH3+. I can make this a double bond for example. I um, can minimize it to get a better structure. And now, uh, for example, now I'm ready for uh, a calculation on this molecule. So I hit calculate here. Yes, I'm sure. And now it prepares the calculation. And so in uh, this version uh, of the molecule calculator, molecule calculator 1.0, I have three options, uh, three things I can calculate. So for example, I can calculate the heat of formation. That's done. Right, and you can see then I have the heat of formation here in kilocalories per mole. I can also load results. And for this particular thing, uh, this particular property, that just brings the result into the window here. I can also calculate molecular orbitals. Okay, and so I have to remember to load the orbitals here, and now I can go in. The orbitals are ranked by orbital energies. So, for example, I can pick this one here. Right, and here I have the molecular orbital, which is primarily associated with the nitrogen group. Uh, I can s scroll down, for example, here, and see the, the pi bond. Final thing is vibrational frequencies. So I have to load results. Uh, this is the they're here ranked by vibrational frequencies or vibrational wave numbers. Uh, this is the lowest vibrational frequency here. And if I see want to see how that looks, well, I can see that here. I can also add vectors here and I can also turn off the atoms to get a more simplified view of the molecule. So let me turn that off. Um, I can always go back. Um, it remembers that I already calculated the, the heat of formation here. I can load that and here I have my, my molecule again. Uh, I can also go in and, and measure distances. So this, uh, the way the program we use to view the molecule is called JMO. And JMO can do a lot of, of different things. For example, if I double click on this atom and drag, right, I get distances or I can get angles. Oops, I have to double click to finish. Okay, and finally I can get the hedral angle. Just double click, single click, single click, double click. And so that's the dihedral angle here. Uh, finally, by right clicking, I get access to all the different things uh, that JMO can do. So for example, here I can go in and measurements and pick angstroms instead if I prefer that. Uh, so here the bond length is one angstrom. And so that's a quick overview of molecular uh, calculator.